Welcome to the first grading period we're going to talk about GPA. GPA stands for grade point average. Yes, it's a math thing. So what is GPA? It's a standard way of measuring academic achievement in the US. Basically, it goes as follows. Each course is given a certain number of units or credits depending on the content of the course. At the high school level, each course is worth the same amount of units, and you have to get a certain amount of units to graduate. Um, car college courses are worth different amounts, um, so the GPA calculation is a little bit more complicated. Why should I care about GPA? Well, here are some following reasons. Number one, um, a satisfactory level of college GPA can make any student be eligible for programs like advanced placement or international, international bachelorette IB that you can take in your junior and senior years, which helps you score a higher GPA in the present. Um, and GPA becomes really important in those college admissions. Um, you can win a chance to going to a good college based on your GPA. Um, it can also be a factor determining your eligibility for merit-based scholarships. So the higher that your GPA is in high school, um, the better. The GPA doesn't only work inside college and schools, they play a crucial role in your future jobs too. So it's important for you to maintain a good GPA. So you're going to list these on your resumes. Um, when you plan on pursuing higher studies after you graduate school or college, you'll have to maintain the required GPA necessary um, as per the university or course you choose to further your education in. So they're going to maintain a certain standard for the people that they let into the school. In other words, it should show how hard you're working in your classes. So how to keep your GPA up? First, work hard in your freshman and sophomore classes. Um, in those classes, it will determine if you get into those higher level classes like AP or honors courses. Um, and that's kind of your ticket to the weighted GPA scale to get a GPA higher than 4.0. Um, and that's what you need to get into some of these top tier colleges. So don't slack off once you receive your acceptance letter, even if you maintain that high GPA, um, because schools and companies are still going to look at your senior year and expect um, that you kind of maintained a level of excellence. Having your own GPA goals will help you keep things organized and build this push in you to achieve it. Always set your goals high and appreciate yourself for trying to reach it. Um, make college your priority and stay organized. Make sure that you're totally aware of when tests are and exactly what you have to study. Um, having a proper study strategy will help you analyze how many hours to study and when to study. So what are some co common college requirements? So the average GPA is 3.0, so that's about a B average. Um, if you're above a 3.0, you're probably doing pretty well. Uh, keep in mind that it's often the average of all students within the country. Um, 30, 34% of high school students do not continue on to college. Uh, typically, 3.5 to 4.0 GPA implies an A minus to A average. Um, this is expected for admission into kind of prime colleges. It's easy for one to convert this GPA to A percentage. Um, you'll be able to gain acceptance to a less selective school with a GPA that's lower as, for example, 2.0 is a C average. Uh, the concrete numbers are less important than your individual expertise. Um, for admission, prospective faculty think about your GPA and your class rank. Um, we'll talk about that a little later. So the higher your GPA, the higher your likeliness um, of getting selected and entering to the college of your choice. So remember, GPA is just one thing they look at. Colleges, scholarship applications, and internships also look at what kind of extracurricular activities you are a part of. Think things like sports, jobs, summer programs, they all um, kind of add to your GPA.
it's your turn to open up your Aries page or use um, our weekly grade check to calculate your current GPA. Good luck.